Hi, Tom here from Green Engine Recording. Recently I've been recording acoustic drums at the same time as capturing MIDI information from the drum shells through a trigger module. This makes it easier if you need to fix parts or sample replace, but can't easily make out the transients. As the drum kit is in the live room and not next to my interface, I needed a way of getting the triggered signal between rooms without having to pull an extra cable. Now I could have recorded the trigger information from the audio outs on the module, as I already have a big XLR loom between the rooms, but it would be a waste to use four channels for that, so I thought I must be able to convert a MIDI cable to XLR and back again to capture the data as MIDI. So that's exactly what I did. Here's how to make the adapter cable. Although a MIDI DIN connector has five pins, only three are in use. Now that's handy, because an XLR cable has three as well. After getting a MIDI cable with connectors you can unscrew and solder, you'll need a male and female XLR connector. You need to wire the adapter like this, MIDI pin 2 to XLR pin 1, MIDI pin 4 to XLR pin 2, and MIDI pin 5 to XLR pin 3. And the same on the other end. MIDI has a technical range of 50 foot or 15 meters, but as we're only sending no on and off information and not any sysx messages, I've had no problems with 65 foot or 20 meter of XLR cable. You can find yourself a link to the stuff I've used in the description below. So get yourself a cheap trigger module like this Roland, make some cheap adapters, and save yourself some time studying the transient information and focus on the music instead. Happy gigging.